So I woke up this morning to videos and pictures, tags of some young minors, young adults, uneducated young children, struggling, striving, hopeless, dehumanized, dehumanized, dehumaned northern children that were locked up because of the protests. President Ashiwajibola met in Umbu. Your government promised renewed hope. You are called T Pay. People have lost hope completely in this country called the giant of Africa. And in the midst of the pain that fathers and mothers are going through just to keep their children alive until it gets better. Right in their faces, right in our faces, in the face of hardship, in the face of struggling, and in the face of pain, your government has locked up minors to the point that they have been starved. They have been destroyed completely. And you and I know that these are children that have never for once benefited the fruit of democracy. These are children whom their lives their future, their beginning, have been prostituted, traded by you political cohorts, your greedy actions. Children who have not tested. Why didn't you lock up we adults? We that have tested the good and the bad of life. These are children that came out because they have no other options. I've always said it. The children the government fails to protect, defend, provide for, will raise guns at us one day. That day came. And rather than the government to plead and understand from another angle that there was no option these children were pushed to anger and frustration. You destroy their spirits. The government has destroyed their lives and their hope. You have confirmed to them that you have renewed the suffering of the common man. Those children are children of the common man. The, man. the children of the rich will not come out, but they are hungry. These are children that were pushed to frustration. These are children who are supposed to be in school. TP, where is the spirit of fatherhood in you? These are children that they have no option. It's not easy for us to see the face of death. And all we want to do is to go and face death. Coming out of protest, there's no assurance that anybody will go home. But we go to the face of death because even the home is no longer home. The streets no longer streets. The country is no longer country. There is chaos, hunger, suffering. Where are they supposed to see 10 million from? Where? They came out for hunger and they have been punished now. And they have seen real hunger. And you've taken their lives as citizens away from them. Broad daylight. If their parents had 10 million, would they have pushed them to go and fight? Their parents are weak. They've lost hope. 
Our parents keep telling us every day. Just that they told you people should fight for your rights. Take what belongs to you. Make Nigeria great for your younger ones. And that is what we have done every day. And right in the face of we mothers, you put oppression in the face of our children. Where are you? Where are all of you? Now you're going to say the president does not know anything. Now I'm telling you to tell the president. Now I'm calling you to call the president. Now the minor citizens of the country, where he is the president, are suffering. A judge has told them to pay 10 million and they don't have it. Why don't you cuckoo sentence them? Why don't you send them to internal displaced camp? Because nobody's going to claim them. If their parents had 10 million, they will not be where they are. You people should stop this oppression. Stop this oppression. You all cost what is going on in this country. As you are, you are part of the problem. You have always been part of the problem. You brought Buhari. You took us 16 years back. We should be moving forward. But now you have confirmed. You say you will continue where Buhari stopped. You have turned the problem, the pain, the hunger to Shege Pro Max. Is it easy for these children to call you T-Pain? One to when you bat it, they could I bet they could talk about by me. Or one more, more it's ten year. These children have confirmed suffering, pain, insecurity, and they are asking, where is their common wealth? And you lock them up. If they were safe, would they come out? If they were not hungry, would they come out? Why have you people decided to start punishing the people that you should be pleading with for time? The people you should rebuild and reinvest faith and confidence in them, in their motherland. Free these children. Free these children. Chief George, wherever you are, free these children. They had no option than to resort to the protests. They didn't even understand the meaning of the flag. They are not even educated. We've been pleading that the government should educate the northern children. We are one. Nigeria is one. Our country is one. Leave these children alone. 